Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for another time travel tutorials. This is the series slash playlist where I recreate my favorite vintage icons, especially from the 60s. And I have not redone Twiggy in so long. I think it's been like six or seven years and I knew I could do better than my original. So I hope you enjoy this lesser known headshot that I'm recreating. I noticed that blue eyeshadow was on the rise and I thought this would be a really fun way to incorporate the trend. I'm also so excited that I'm working with Anna Sweet on today's video. Anna Sweet does have a makeup collection and oh, the products are so stunning and also some of their advertisements literally look like they're from the 60s. I'm obsessed with them so I thought this would be a perfect collaboration and I hope you enjoy. I will have everything linked down below. And we're gonna actually start with this product right here. Let's start with the Anna Sui Rich Lotion. This looks like a tiny potion. This is expertly crafted in Japan using plant extracts and smells quite floral. Patting this on. The Anna Sui Gel Foundation Primer is an ultra hydrating primer and look at how adorable this packaging is as well. And smoothing over the face evenly before foundation. Since this look is very youthful, we want to conceal the pores and look as healthy as possible. The foundation primer is $30 and you can find it on Amazon, which I will have linked down below. I have never used a primer quite like this. Look at the jelly-like texture. See how the products could be pieced apart and then in like a couple seconds it's already smooth back in the container and it really lifts up the skin. Looks very smooth and plump, so this is a really cool product. For foundation, I've been meaning to try the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow Undetectable Skin Booster Foundation. This has hyaluronic acid. For shake it. I like to apply with an angled brush. You could use a makeup sponge as well. And this has beautiful light coverage and you can still see the glow from the Inna Sweet products. Now for a bit of highlighting and contouring. Again, I'm using Makeup Forever and I love this highlight and contour palette. I'm sure you've seen me use it a bunch of times if you watch my channel. It's my favorite because you can use it in a very sheer way onto the skin to create dimension with very little product. I lowered my cheekbone a little bit like Twiggy and I'm creating a bit of dimension through the cheek, especially if you're trying to slim down your face like I am for this look. And before we use the Anna Sweet powder, which is so stunning, I'm gonna do some faux freckles. I usually just use a brow pencil, but I saw this at the drugstore. This is by Kimchi Beauty and it's the Candy Girl Fake Freckle Afternoon in the flower field. I thought the name really suited this look and the packaging also looks pretty 60s. Just took this out of the packaging, so I'm really hoping this works. This is cute. I'm not sure if it comes in any other shades. This is 01. It's kind of like an orangey based freckle, but they definitely look natural, especially if you go over it with your finger and you haven't powdered yet. This time I'm going in with Limitless Brown by Makeup Forever. This gives a bit bolder of freckles. And again, just tapping over. For the brows, you wanna keep them very natural. I had some sparse areas, so I went in and filled in right here and made this tail a little bit stronger. But my brows are quite a bit darker than Twiggy's, and so is my base, so I feel like it kinda evens out. But I am gonna use a little bit of a lighter eyeshadow to make them a little bit more toned down. This look really isn't blush heavy, but if you're gonna add a little bit of color, I recommend going with a pretty coral like this. These are so nice, the makeup by Mario, um, what are they called? Pop blush, <laughs> soft pop lumping, soft pop lumping, <laughs> soft pop lumping blush veil. Wow guys, I thought I was feeling a little better than I am today. <laughs> the Anna Sui Loose Powder is said to create the ultimate doll-like skin, and I thought it'd be very perfect for this super doll-like look, and it does come in two shades. I'm using lavender. I just always pick lavender. I think it's brightening and looks so nice. And I always feel so much prettier once I've set my base. I hate being overly dewy. I definitely like to blur the pores. The powder is refillable, but I will show you the case that I got. A beautiful butterfly. So instead of this plain black lid, if you want something a little more fancy, And you have this adorable compact. You can also use this in a sweet brush. This powder has new tone control pearls that provide luster while also diffusing yellow tones that can appear dull. This is perfect if you like loose powder, but also they have a really beautiful pressed powder as well that I wanted to show you. The Anna Sui Rose Pressed Powder, and this is the shade 300. They both work beautifully. I don't think I have a preference. I think it's just up to if you like pressed or um, loose. This is so pretty too. 
Here's the finished skin. It's a blur to conceal pores, textures, and bumps for a smooth finish. Don't recommend to wear this step in person, but I've made my nostrils slightly larger and I've done this a bunch of times and whenever I've used powder, it just has not worked out. So I ended up using an ABH brow pomade, but of course you can do all these steps without the nose contour and make it your own. But I really like for you to be able to tell who my inspiration is. So hopefully by the end, we get major Twiggy vibes. And a sweet eye base to lock in the style. And let's start by adding a warm light brown through the crease. Also add quite a bit of brightness to the brow bow. Using both matte shades here, I picked up the new Makeup by Mario Master Matte's eyeshadow palette in the neutrals. This is so gorgeous, I'll have to use this again for another tutorial and feature more of the shades. But if you check out Pinterest, you can see Twiggy's own DIY eyelash tutorial. So here's my little recreation. Also, follow me on Pinterest, I always post my inspiration pictures. And let's finally do the eyes. In Twiggy's tutorial, it looked like a small little paintbrush, so I picked this one up from Pretty Vulgar because it does have a pretty tiny little applicator there. But most of the other brushes that I've been using so far are by Refer, and I really love these. I do recommend these brushes a lot. And begin outlining the eye from the inner corner, create a perfectly round half moon shape, and then fade this downward past the natural eye line. I wanted to make my tutorial look like Twiggy's tutorial, so I'm using this tiny brush, but it's actually a bit too tiny. So I've switched over to just using the pencil straight from, and you wanna make sure it's pretty sharpened, just so it doesn't get too large of a line. This one's really creamy. This is the Aqua Resist Color Pencil. There's the base shape. I'm gonna deepen up right through here so we get more of that deep set effect. Now that we have the specific shape for this headshot, typically Twiggy's eye makeup would stop about here and then there'd be a space and then drawn on lashes. But for some reason in this look, it is connected, which I thought was kind of cool and I'd never done anything like it. So it looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna start blending the liner. I find it looks best if it's crisp as possible through the crease, but then just above, like on the top part of the line, if you soften it a bit, it makes it a lot more wearable. For the fun, pop a blue on the lid. I picked up this shadow on Amazon. I just color matched from the internet, so I'm really hoping this is close. I was worried this was gonna appear slightly too teal, and it was a bit too bright, so I added in this blue shadow. This is from One Size, and it's Rebel Gray, so it's a cooler tone, very light, I think, blue. It's like a blue-gray, and it helped tone down that shadow a little bit. There's twiggy looks that have more of a brighter blue, but I wanted to go for something slightly more pastel. And a sweet, perfect eyeliner. Again, it has the black rose here and here. The packaging is so just unmistakably Anna Sui. And I'm applying this in a really light line all the way from the inner corner through the bottom, but instead of a wing, we're connecting it down through the crease. I have three products from Anna Sui. I'm not gonna go with the eyelash serum today, but they do have a mascara base and a mascara, which I thought would be perfect for very doll-like lashes if you don't wanna go for falsies, though I'm totally gonna use an authentic Twiggy pair. So this is gonna thicken up the lashes before mascara. This is the Volume Mascara. Skipping the bottom lash, oh no! <laughs> Oh well, that'll be a deeper freckle. I'm skipping the bottom lashes and I'll apply mascara after I've done the drawn on lashes. I just find that easier. Now have Twiggy eyes with Twiggy lashes from Yardley. These are from the 60s, of course. They come with this cute little eyelash holder, I guess. And I've worn these before in a Jean Shrimpton inspired look. So I have used them and they are hard to pin down in the inner corner. So hopefully I have an easier time this go around. Using a light liner pencil, this is All Around White by Makeup Forever and adding this through the waterline. And now for the bottom lashes, I am gonna switch it up and use an eyeliner that I'm super comfortable with because I've used it for like a year straight. This is the Lily by Red AM9 to PM9 Survival Pen Liner. I find for drawn on bottom lashes, the felt tip type of liners are easiest. Etching downwards and creating seven or eight little lashes. Start from the outer corner and then taper smaller as you get closer to the inner corner. Another tip I have is to bring the mirror up higher. This just helps so you don't get as much of a crease under your eye as you try to apply. And now let's build up the bottom lashes. You can also group the bottom lashes together by holding the mascara wand like this. Just to make them slightly clumpy and more doll-like. Finally for the lips, I'm using Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm adding a slightly wider upper lip, 
more of a rounded, wider cupid's bow. And look at these Anna Sweet lipsticks. I'm tapping over this beautiful light shade. This looks very reminiscent of the 60s. And then with a shade that's closer to my lip color, I'm adding this through the inner portion of the lip for a healthy pop of color. Adding a bit more highlight to the center of the lip, and I actually mattified this a little bit. I'm just pinning these buns with some heavy duty bobby pins. They're a little too big, but I can't make them any smaller. I have so many bobby pins trying to hold these up. These are just hair pieces. I have one more product here. I just wanted to show. They have so many pretty products, but this one, look, it's a black rose with a pop of red. Like what a unique brand. Look at the packaging on this thing. Again, you can find everything on, let's see how this looks. Oh, so it is just a red and then this, um, like the black is clear. Very cool. And thank you to Anna Sweet for working with me on today's video. I was hired to show the um, primer and the powder, but there was just so many amazing products that I wanted to try that I asked for. So many new favorites. Plus they have more on Amazon, like these rings. They literally have rings that have lip balm in it, which is again, so retro and fun. Definitely a very cool artistic brand to try. And if you want to keep on watching, I have a bunch more time travel tutorials if you want to check them out. Another one of my favorite bold spring looks is the Lily Collin Met Gala 2019 makeup. Or if you love more neutral shadows, you might like this iconic 60s makeup look. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Jackie Wires if you like short form content or more photo inspiration. I love posting shorter videos for a little bit of inspiration every day. And then you can find the long form videos over on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.